Good morning. Ooh. Good morning. Ooh. Good morning. Ooh. Welcome back, my dear viewer. Welcome back. I know you used to me as a starting a video off angry. <laughs> I watched my, my, my past couple of videos. Aside from the documentary. And I just sound angry all the time. I'm like, damn. I'm looking at myself like a whole new... Like, who's this? Why is he so mad? But I had reasons to be mad, though. You see, this one's going to be a little bit more positive. It's not going to be a kumbaya, all right? It's not going to be a kumbaya moment. And it's also going to be uncomfortable to watch, like the, a little bit like the other ones. A little uncomfortable, not too uncomfortable. Not too uncomfortable like the other ones, but it's going to be uncomfortable. Because, again, this is not ASMR, okay? You want comfortable? Go on the search bar, look up ASMR. That's comfortable. Me? You might find it comfortable if you're enlightened, like me. Holy. But it's not, it's not supposed to be comfortable. Good morning. Ooh. Man. These aren't prescription glasses, by the way. These are, um, they block out the blue light. You see? Now, some YouTubers got a whole team working under them. They got an audio guy, a video guy, you know? Me, all I got is me. And yet I'm pushing out almost daily content. Even if I don't drop it daily, I'm daily working on it. And I'm talking too much. Let me get to the point. So, I've noticed that ever since the, 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 the ban of Andrew Tate, he's moved on to a platform called Rumble. And I watch a couple of YouTubers that, I mean, Andrew Tate is funny and stuff, and he got, he, he got his thing going, but he's not a, I mean, he's entertaining, but it's not like he's going to be pushing out content daily, okay? So even though he blew up on YouTube, off of some YouTube videos, I don't consider him a YouTuber. But I I love YouTube. And I've been watching YouTube as a viewer. And I made a little money off YouTube. I, like, my relationship with YouTube been going on for, I want to say, 10 years. A good 10 years. A good 10 years. So... uh. Listen, I'm, I'm going to be honest today. Susan was a Kiki. Susan Chikiki. Susan Kiki. Kiki, do you love me? Probably not. Let me talk to Susan real quick. It's not a secret that Susan prioritizes the advertisers over the creators. She, I mean, she loved her creators, but she loved the top ones. You know what I mean? As far as she's concerned, she's ready to replace Alia. But that's because of what? Okay. Susan, when it comes to doing her job, I'm not talking in terms of she, her job was never to be kumbaya with the creators. That's like when black people keep telling me, or 
You know, it's no, nah, forget that. I'm not gonna say that. That's like when um a drug dealer get flicked by the police, and he's like, F the police, man. These B A police, man. These B A police, man. F the police, man. I always trying to keep a brother down. Nah, bro. When you were doing something, you knew. I mean, I'm not saying the laws are fair. I'm not saying the war on drugs is, is a good thing. I'm just saying you, like, what did you expect? Susan's job, all right, the police's job was never to be kumbaya for you. What is this, Madagascar? Oh, lad. Kumbaya. But let me tell you something. I refuse to be one of those YouTubers that's going to sit up here every day and just hit you with the problem, the problem, the problem. It's a lot of YouTubers that just keep slamming you with the problem, but never got a solution for you. I got the solution. I got it. I got the solution. I got it. So... What is keeping, or what is making YouTube apply this heavy censorship? I've seen Sneeko complain about it. I mean, I, I'm not going to go hard at Sneeko, because I've, I've watched some of his stuff too, but it's just complain, 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 problem, problem. Nobody got the solution. I got it. The solution is not going to be a comfortable one, but hear me out. YouTube applies the censorship stuff because YouTube is a business at the end of the day. All right? It's not a charity. They're not supposed to be kumbaya with the creators, you know? So they prefer, or sorry, their main objective, especially since Wakiki took over, is to please the advertisers. You are a creator on YouTube. If you're a creator on YouTube, you can't be mad that they're censoring you or they're not giving you enough attention because it's a business. You are not a customer of that business. As a matter of fact, <laughs> you're the product. The creator is the product, not the customer. The viewer is not is not is not the 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 viewer is not the customer either. Neither you nor your viewers are the customer. You guys are just complaining. Who's the customer then? I got the answer. Are you ready? The customer is those same advertisers. That's who pays money. That's who pays YouTube's bills. That's who pays to have them servers that got infinite upload. You could upload a hundred gigabyte video to YouTube. You ever think that stuff costs money? And the person paying them bills is not the creator. The creator is making uh, is the product that's bringing in those advertisers. So if the if the advertiser says. I don't want my ads on AK. AK's got to go. That's the truth of it. But what's the solution, AK? You said you had the solution. I'm glad you asked. I'm happy. The solution is simple. People who haven't been happy, and I've seen this on Instagram, matter of all places, that YouTube has tested out eight ads, eight ads, okay. Oh, eight ads? I'm watching my own video. And I'm getting frustrated. I know it's making money, but at the same time, it's eight ads? Oh, like, I've, had, I've gotten to 30 minutes, and I've already seen like four ads. I'm not complaining. Keep them, but hear me out. I got the solution. So they got this thing called YouTube Premium. 
when you look at it, DJ Academic signed a $100 million deal with Spotify. And people came up with all sorts of accusations. Who, who, who's on Spotify? DJ Academics? Joe Rogan? And you remember the whole fiasco that happened with Joe Rogan dropping an M-bomb. You remember that? Throughout this whole fiasco with Rogan and academics, both, I've came to understand something by looking at these companies. You know I'm a business guy, so I like to look at the way they run the business. And I've realized <clears throat> Spotify don't got an answer to nobody. They got advertisers too, but guess what? They got more than the, more than the free listeners who watch ads. They got people who pay this monthly charge. The same thing with Netflix, with Dave Chappelle fiasco. I love you LGBT people, but who gives a F what you think when Dave Chappelle is bringing in numbers and those numbers aren't coming from advertisers. They're coming in from your um, 15 bucks a month or 10 bucks a month. I think they raised the price for Netflix. What's the difference between Netflix and YouTube? Why does YouTube got to bend over backwards, but Netflix don't? Netflix allows their freedom of speech. They don't care. As a matter of fact, they fought, the, uh, they told the LGBT people, you don't like it, you can go. You're, you're fired. You're fired, Bobby. You don't like it, you can go home and take that blue hair with you. That's what they said, right? That's because they don't got to please the advertisers. They got to please the customers. And of course, the customers love their freedom of speech. On YouTube, you're not, you don't want to pay YouTube premium. You've always looked at YouTube as like some that should be free. And don't get me wrong, I've been that guy too. I understand? Again, I know this whole video is going to be uncomfortable. But if you're sick of the censorship on YouTube, the way to fix that, the only way to fix that is if YouTube gets most of his money from YouTube Premium. Then we become the boss, not the advertisers. The advertisers can then go kick rocks. You want to come, you come. This is the creators. They make our money here. You don't like it, you can kick rocks. You don't get to say, I don't want my ads. I don't like my ads on AK's video. I don't want my ads on Sneaker's video. Tate's too offensive. Get them out the plot. That will then the creators have the power, then the viewer has the Actually, no, no, no. The viewer has the power. The, the, F the creator, the viewer, with his money, if we turn it, if we pay all of us, and I'm going to do it myself after this. I'm going to join YouTube Premium. Because a lot of y'all got money to spend. Y'all tricking off on your creator. What's cheaper? Giving your creator 50 bucks on a super chat. Or just, or just paying at 10 bucks a month premium. Now, I don't know the math. I don't know the math of it. And I get it, it's not going to be perfect. But I think if we all move towards that, this is a suggestion. I'm not saying you should do that because I said so. It's a suggestion. I'm just like you. At the end of the day, I'm a viewer first before I am a, a creator. If we move to that economy or that system where YouTube's money is coming from us versus the advertisers, we run the show, not the advertisers. Because truth be told, I don't want to go to Rumble. I know they got freedom of speech and I know they monetize it. I know that. But... Rumble, I like YouTube. I love it. I also, don't get me wrong, as much as I'm, Rumble seems good. 
And I also don't like the fact that YouTube has become a monopoly on things. You know what I'm saying? YouTube is like this big old monopoly now. They're like if YouTube cancel you or like Instagram cancel you, that's it. It's like you're done because nobody want to go to these platforms. So I'm also not with the botnet, the great internet botnet that is all these, um, you know, Google, Facebook, this monopoly. I get that too. But at the same time, I'm just thinking out loud. Maybe this could be the solution to all of our issues. If you pay the bills, you're the boss. If you cut the check, you're the boss. A lot of y'all be tricking off with these super chats. You could be the boss. Instead of paying a super chat of a hundred bucks to tell your favorite creator that's probably heavily censored why you're sad. Like I've seen this happen. Somebody paid a crazy amount of money just to tell his creators, damn bro, they really censoring you. And then the creators like reads the hundred dollar super chat. They're like, yeah, man, they really are sensory, man. Thank you for the super chat. Bro, <laughs> you could pay 10% of that pre. I still super chat. I get it. Support your creators. Matter of fact, super thanks this video right here. I'll say your name. What I'm trying to say is be mindful. I'm tired of YouTubers coming in all day complaining, 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 complaining. You're giving me a headache. I'm supposed to come to the site to relax and have fun and laugh and not just hear you complain, complain. I'm, listen, I know the world is messed up. I share most of the ideas with the red pill people. I get it. But bro, I'm tired, bro. I want to laugh sometimes, bro. I'm scared to hit the, 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 the pen, the type of pen that free Brittany Grenner, the type she got locked up for. And watch YouTube because all I see on YouTube is complain, complain. You gonna blow my? That's a waste of. That's a waste of. <laughs> w. Double E D. Come on, man. So, if we pay the bills, man, we the boss, man, and 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 maybe one day we could make YouTube independent of these advertisers, and they can still get their ad money. But if most of their money comes from us, these ads can't, these, these people can't say nothing. I just hope that if it becomes like this, YouTube don't still take chooses the advertisers over us. Cause then we could protest back and take our money to somebody who listens to us. And then go to places like Rumble. You hear me, Wakiki? Wajikiki? I don't even know her name. But one thing I do know is she used to be down with the feds. Don't censor me, Wakiki. I'm just, I'm just trying to, you know. If hey, if Wakiki censor me, y'all be my, y'all be my witness. Because they, the government now, you got these people going on these, what is it, Homeland Security? When are we gonna stop misinformation on YouTube? The only thing you need to stop, man. When are they gonna stop your paychecks that's keeping you stepping on our? Let us breathe, bro. I'm not gonna get angry. Just not one of them. Let me chill. Let me calm down. Calm. God, please give me the strength. When are we gonna stop misinformation? What is misinformation? You wanna know misinformation? Your education system. That's misinformation. Let's get to that. Like Hassan say, let's get to that. <laughs> Again, man, let these people breathe. And the people, we got to start thinking different. Instead of blowing all this money on super chats just to say why, <laughs> there's, a, there's a solution that's simpler than that. And I just hope YouTube, Wakiki, if we as a people start paying for YouTube premium, because when a video on YouTube, the monetization gets limited, they tell you that, um, I'll show you what they say. Like they say, they don't say it's demonetized. They say it's, 
I mean, you stop getting money from ads, which is the biggest source, but you still earn from YouTube Premium. So if YouTube Premium is like, you know, it's like, yeah, it's like Spotify or Netflix, bro. It becomes like this. So maybe, maybe, maybe if that becomes the 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 big, you know, your favorite creator won't have to about everything, you know what I mean? And then they're gonna have to play other games like age restricted and and, and, and what was it? What was it? But they delete like Sneeko strikes are stupid. How about you display a disclaimer under his thing instead of saying the Kobe lack? Kobe lack, that's cereal. Instead of, why don't you display uh, 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 one of those under the thing like Instagram does instead of censoring people's opinions? Because with, with, the, with the new information coming out about the VA and the letter let me take a pause so you know. X V A V. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say, man. The boom boom, the sats. Alright. The, the shooting up of the arm. You know what I'm talking about. If they were if they could delete you and give you a, a channel strike for that, for expressing an incorrect opinion. Then this is this has turned a dystopia Chinese social credit world where I don't like it. The cyber punk world. The world is not perfect. And the powers that be every day are working hard to take your power. Look up the WEF. Look them up. I'm I'm soon enough I'll do a video on them. I've just been I get too I get too angry and affected by the stuff that I cover, so I chill out. I, cause if I, you know you ever see me when I cover these stories that make you angry, a lot of YouTubers just sit there and read the script. Not even a not even a, they don't even take a breath. The time that they take a breath to digest that info, or you digest it, they they edit it out. I could show you a YouTuber, but I don't want to get hit with no copyright. <laughs> Shut up, bro. Take a breath. God. Oh, <laughs> But if you don't shut up, bro. Oh, lad. What was I saying? I forgot. Anyway. Yeah. I forgot what I was saying, man. Yeah, WEF. Right, right. That's what it was. <sighs> no, I forgot. What was that? Anyway, it don't matter. Um, I'll exp I do videos on everything I've mentioned in the future. It's not a big deal. That being said, man, hit the like button, man. Smash the subscribe button, man. It's your boy, AK. Mm, go watch the other videos. They're good. The documentaries, uh, if they're not out by now, they'll be out. Good stuff. More coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I remember. So I'll tell you before you go. When I cover these hard-to-cover stories... These YouTubers just be, they don't get affected by it. They read it like it's text. They don't even engage or, or, or feel the pains that, I feel pain when I read these stories. Maybe I have empathy, maybe that makes me, whatever. I care too much. So when I read it and it, it's full of pain, I feel pain. I get angry, I jump up and down, I start yelling. I'm not like these robotic YouTubers. That sucks. That's terrible. Hey, Bobby, go give me my coffee. Hey, let's order some Chinese food. I'm not like that. I get too affected. 
Anyway, man. Just think about this premium stuff and, and let me know what you think in the comments. That's really... You think that this premium could save YouTube? Or should we move to Rumble? Because Rumble is source of money. It's advertisers as well. So it's not like they got something that's new, okay, that's going to defeat... Because even YouTube started off letting you speak how you speak. If Rumble gets as big as YouTube, maybe one day they'll take the same route and tell you, hey, man, I know you had 10 years of great freedom of speech, but our advertisers, man, they pay the bills, man. What's to stop you then, you know? Think about it. It's your boy AK, man. Free tape. Free all the guys that got the platform. Well, maybe not all the guys. But anyway, man. <laughs> all right. Get in the comment box. I actually want to hear what you guys think. Let's really open a discussion and talk about this. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. You are now watching AK Debris on YouTube. Make sure to click the like button. Smash the subscribe button and leave a comment for the algorithm.